Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will continue working on our project in Twinmotion. So the last time we've already finished create our model in Revit. As you can see here is my model in Revit. Yes, and I forgot to post link to download this model. I will do it, no worries. But once we will finish everything, I will post this like one link. I not will be post like pi part by part by part. It will be better for you and for me. So if you want uh, get like final model, you will get when we will finish. If you want follow me, you should learn something and that's why you will uh, follow me. So today what we're gonna do, today we will make some entourage, so today we will create some context model, we will make our city around, and we not will do it photorealistic, we will make only mass forms. And after that we will place some vegetation like the trees, bushes and maybe some grass. So this is our, my plan for this tutorial and we will do it right now. Let's get started. And now we will start from the context. So what we're gonna do, uh, I wanna change my speed mode to the maximum. So let's change it, now I can do it more faster. Okay, and I wanna change my view to the plan view, you will find it here under the views, you will find the top view and it's going like the map mode. Okay, so now we will go to the context and here we will find the context and after that we will go to the uh, context. So, <laughs> three times context. Uh, now we should change the our placement where we will place our model. So let's say I want to place it under London. So let's find some nice place to where we can locate it. Mm, no park road, no. Uh, it doesn't matter where you want. Oh, maybe here, maybe here. No price way. It could be, oh, yeah, this nice place. Uh, let's use the crop view. Let's make it like this. And maybe a bit bigger. Okay. And let's grab it. Okay, here is our model. Here is our map, as you can see. And... It's totally huge. What we're gonna do now? I will change my view to the uh, some isometric view. So let's change it. Oh, sorry, not that view. I wanna change for the isometric view. Okay. So first, I wanna see where is the my uh, road, where is the my object, and after that, we will uh, make the. Okay, so here is my object. And I wanna see my context model. Okay, my context model is here, my object is here. And let's try to locate my uh, context to the this model. Okay, I think it will be somewhere here. So, of course, we will delete the uh, road after that. Okay, like that. And maybe just locate. As you can see, it's really nice to manipulate with all this context model after that. Uh, I'm doing my LA not... Um, by drawing, so that's why it's more like uh, just a project for me. It's not with the documentation. When you have documentation, it's more easy because you have the real scale, size, and everything else. So now we don't have it, and I will do it by myself. Okay, so here we are. I don't need any roads because uh, actually the context models will be only to create some more interesting um, background and that's it. So let's delete it. No, this I wanna leave. Uh -huh. And that things I will delete at all. And we will put, as you can see, we making uh, totally huge renovation in London. <laughs> I think everyone hates us right now. Okay, so this is not a big problem, I think. I will delete it. So you can delete one by one or you can delete here from the browser. Uh, but I don't know where the these buildings. I mean the in browser, so that's why I'm deleted one by one. So I'm not lazy, I can do it really, really fast. Okay, so few buildings more and we will leave as it is. Okay, and this one, this one, this road, this road, this road, that road, and that road, and 
few more roads. Okay, as you can see, we did it. Oh, here, here, and here. Okay. Why I'm not gay okay about that? Because actually, uh, our context mod, it's... Uh, oh, here the some trees. Let's delete the some trees, because I will place my own... I mean, we will do it by own. Okay, and like that. So, now I want to select all the context mods. Uh, I mean the um, model, where is our context model, and where is the my axis, and I want to push it a bit down, like this. Let's delete the, uh, some traces. Okay, 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 so done. And of course you should clear uh, like this, some strange situations. And uh, maybe I will delete all vegetation. We, right now I can use a uh, uh, project browser because I wanna I can see all the traces. And just one click, I will delete all the traces. Okay, this better, this much better because when we will wo wo work from the eye view, as you can see, this making some new style, and this is much better. But all our um, all our cutter. I mean, the, all our views will be from inside, so that's why it will be looks like this. If we need something special, we will create the road around around our area. And now let's place it some trees, but already our own. So how we can do that? Uh, you can do it, just go to the vegetation, landscape, and you can place the trees one by one. So just like... Just drag and drop, place, and you can do it like that. Or you have the other way, you can go to the vegetation, find here the vegetation, and you will find all these things here. After that, I, for example, uh, I will delete all, all, everything from that one, and I will show you what is that. So, because it's from the my, star, uh, my um, old library, and that's why it's here. Okay, so here you can drop everything what you want. For example, I want this tree. And after that, you can see on uh, you have like brush mode. So once you will place here like few uh, few trees, when you will use your brush, uh, automatically it will locate like few, as you can see, few uh, trees. Or you can uh, simply erase it. For example, I can choose this tree and I can draw it. Just, oh sorry, draw it, not erased. And I can place like this. Of course, if you want to uh, place it exactly in some, uh, in some, um, for example, place, in some area, you cannot use the this brush mod. But if you have like huge uh, uh, area, you can use this brush. Okay, so now you understand how it's working. Also, you can actually drag and drop from uh, this uh, project browser too, so like this, like I'm doing. And let's place some uh, trees, like one tree is here, I, I like the big trees, mm, and let's place the same trees. When, once you will place some trees, uh, Twinmotion automatically will create the other type of the trees. For example, even if you are using the same one trees, for example, here is the one, and here the same one, and as you can see, it's a bit rotating and a bit different size. It's cool for you because it's uh, automatically randomize everything. So this is what we want to use, right? Let's pin this uh, top to not will open every time. And let's place our traces one by one, just one by one. Do not rush because this is like more artistic work. You should place the everything to make your uh, context is more realistic. Uh, our environment will become realistic, just believe me. And here it's so small, maybe we will just place it here. Just place some biggest one and after that we will think about the smaller one. As you can see it's different size and different uh, type rotating, so the randomize will help us a lot. Let's place some few more, one here and maybe more smaller here. And maybe one big here. Yes. Let's see the eye view. And as you can see, from the eye view it's already better. 
now you can see like you are walking around the park right so this is what i want we gonna create like this entourage so do not place a lot the trees because it's not like the forest we should understand this is park inside inside the um, city so we cannot like create uh, thousands of the trees it's not a possible because in the city you don't have to, a lot of money to keep it up okay just place like few like this few here like you can just do it like one by one as i as i'm doing or you can use the brush for this uh, for this area you can use the brush but i will do one by one because uh, after that if i don't if i will don't like it i will change it the location okay so about the trees you understand just place it one by one and you will create the nice entourage so what about the grass uh you can do it also one by one let's go to the grass and you can place it also like this but it's i will tell you true it will be crazy because it's not a, like a lumen you cannot place it just one click you should use the brush so let's delete it and let's organize our our work i will close the roads i will close the buildings and as you can see here is our vegetation i will select all this, this uh, trees and i will create the new let's create the new mm, we should create the new container and let's call it trees trees let's put all the trees inside this folder and let's make this folder a bit highest by hierarchy so this here and let's place this tree also there it's easy because we can just by one click and switch all the trees so let's create the new container we will call it uh we will call it grass just separate your work it will be better for you okay here is the grass and let's create the grass i will use now vegetation mode and i will use the mm, brushes where is the my grass let's find it so here and i will just drop it to this place let's make our brush a bit smaller not 10 meters maybe like 5 meters so yes 5 meter will be enough and here is density density is how many of the of the mm, grass you want to place by one click as you can see 100% it means everywhere but you can make like I will use the Control Z you can reduce it and as you can see it's not much so I prefer really using the like 50% and maybe reduce the diameter of the my brush and just use like this place it don't place everywhere why uh you will you might say like uh oh why i i cannot do like an lumen just by one click yes this is cool but uh actually it's in one way it's cool in other way it's not because uh when you want to save the power uh, like um resources from your pc uh the lumen way it's not the better but if you don't want to spend time yeah lumen way it's much better so here so let's change uh, the direction of the light because you cannot see anything uh, now you can see it here is the grass you of course you can mix the grass for example here one grass and you can drop here the other grass and just add some new grasses and as you can see you have like mixing your grass I will use the control Z okay so uh, just let's use them uh, let's use the uh, brush to delete some grasses I will use the one meter because here is my road and I don't wanna this one I wanna delete some grass from the road so you should do it in more accurate because uh, when for example it's uh, so near to your road you should make it really accurate actually the grass in uh, twin motion it's exactly like in unreal so later on I will show you how it's working unreal and you will see uh, it's working pretty same because they're using the same engine twin motion using unreal engine and you will understand better uh, how working unreal engine after twin motion so you will understand the logic of that so let's make it 
so I think this is enough okay so we have the grass but if you want to uh, put some like I don't know flowers you can do so the same thing you can just drag and drop here and just brush it like this as you can see it's really easy you can select your for example puppies and you can delete it as you can see if you deal uh, if you select your flowers and you're using erase you will erase only this the material okay so the by this way you can put for example brush uh, bushes let's see the some bushes for example this one and you can draw it too for example i want to put some bushes here and you can do it also by this way you can increase density if you want don't don't think about the quality in your viewport because now quality in my viewport it's not highest one because uh, i it's actually too much geometry already in here as you can see i just opened to your statistic and you can see it right on your screen okay by this way you can see we create some something interesting we will later on uh, to create more other things okay guys i think today is finished uh, just use these ways to create your model to uh, make like more interesting it and uh, after that we will use in the next tutorial we will continue that i will show you how to using the calls i will show you how we can use the some special things in twin motion and we will go to the uh, final render step by step thank you guys for watching and see you next time to support my channel you can go to Gumroad, check that my store, there you can find bottle of this dynamo scripts or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.